Hi everybody. Um, I'm doing a quick video tour on the new uh, Nexus 7. It just arrived and I'd like to show you the unpacking. My name is Helmut Schemerniak from Helios Software. I'm uh, working out of Hanover, Germany. I'm doing a quick tour about the unpacking of the Nexus. Um, I record this just with my iPhone to make it available very quick. The Nexus arrived today in our office. So far it's not available in Europe. Uh, we got it via an employee of ours, Thomas Hallinen, working out of a, a California office. He ordered it for us and forwarded this um, uh, to Hanover, Germany. So, it's a nice box. So the, there's a box over it. It says, uh, made for Google, um, full flagged Android tablet. Um, pure Google. So we know that this is a Google reference device. Nice box. So the unpacking is not so hard. So I just cut this here and there and then uh, stuff will pop out. At least I hope so. Yeah. So on the, on the internet I saw a few people arguing about it but now, now it's uh, open. So finally our device. Let's uh, look to this. Um, okay, so that's the device itself. It's wrapped with some plastics. Let's remove the plastics. Ah, here we go. So inside, let's put the device to, to the side a second. Inside it's a paper box. This reminds me a little bit uh, like my iPhone package, I had a similar box here. So let's look what's inside. It's the um, so let's put the warranty guide, which is probably not of much help. The quick start guide. It's an um, let's look to this. Uh, basically, a 18 paper folded quick start guide. Okay. A power supply, US based power supply. Let's look to the uh, specification. It says 110, 100 to 240 volts, so it's all fine. We can use this here, and I got an adapter for this. And a micro USB to USB cable. So that's the set. So um, let's look to the device itself. Oh, it's a it's a pretty handy device. Um, not so heavy. So uh, it comes with a quad core CPU. It has a um, it's based on the ARM processor. So maybe I put this aside and we we'll see the box again. So uh, it's uh, a 1.3 gigahertz quad core ARM CPU called Cortex A9 with a 12-core uh, NVIDIA GeForce um, GPU and the whole chipset combining CPU and GPU is called uh, NVIDIA Tegra 3 which is the complete system on a chip. The display is 7 inch so it's a little bit smaller compared to the iPad where the iPad is probably of this size. So, yeah. Um, the display itself has 1280 by uh, 800 pixels, which is about 220 dpi, so it's pretty good for this device. Um, not as high as the iPad, but uh, you remember 72 dpi have been the old PC standard, and I think 220 dpi or 260 dpi, it's pretty good. So the device has one gigabyte of main memory. I remember some time ago it was a hell of a lot of memory. This day it's, it's inside of the um, Nexus 7, same memory used um, for the uh, iPad 3. It has an 8 GB flash memory. Again, uh, this is not much. Uh, there is a, six, a 16 GB model available, but it was sold out. So looking to the device, we see here is a power button, so I can power it on. And 
I'm not going to set this up. That's, that's uh, I will do in a second step. There are two microphones and a camera on the back. And, um, and here are some volume key controls. There's a four pin connector here. I don't know what this is good for. Well, I, would, I will find out. A micro USB connector here and a earphone speaker uh, phone uh, speaker connector there. So the whole device, I told you it's pretty handy. It's just uh, 240 grams, so it's almost half of the uh, white compared to the iPad 3, so it's very handy. So what do we do like what do we like to do with this device? So first, I like to test this. And uh, I got already a Google account, so sh setup should be easy. I like to get used to Android a little bit. Android is getting uh, much more momentum these days because many vendors are offering Android devices like Motorola, Google, HTC, Samsung and others. Um, the Android operating system 4.1 has a code name called Yelly Bean. Yeah, Yelly Bean. I don't know why they found this, but Yelly Bean it's, is it called. And we will investigate into the Android operating system and devices. And of course, this is the master device, the reference device from Google, uh, to see if it's suitable for our document hub. So we got a nice solution uh, called iPad Document Hub, which uh, basically uh, allows you to bring company business data down to pets and uh, this is for the iPad, uh, basically syncing, syncing all data uh, on demand to salespeople, people on the road, etc. So for this product we will investigate if it's suitable with Android to do something about it. So what's next? I will set up the Nexus 7 and get used to it. I will inform you on my Google uh, page once I finish testing. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.